electric feeling to this venue tonight. And man, I never get tired of watching these guys compete. Baron Corbin likes to be the epitome of the term Lone Wolf. Yeah, Saxton, Baron Corbin does what Baron Corbin wants to do, when he wants to do it, and how he wants to do it. Tonight, he wants to beat someone up. potential risk. He wants no part of the outside. This might be it. Oh, my. is perhaps the most dominant competitor in WWE history. Is there any strategy that can work against Big Match John? When you compete at the level that Cena has for as long as he has, injuries pop up. Nothing chronic, but he's definitely got a few target areas that an opponent should look out for. This is the Cena that's just about unstoppable. He could do it here. We discussed John Cena's injuries earlier. And Byron, I'm wondering... How would you target them? Well, I'm too honorable personally to attack injuries, but if I was meaner, I'd stop the tricep he tore against Daniel Bryan at SummerSlam and then yank the shoulder that kept him sidelined in 2016. Of course, this is all hypothetical. John Cena with a nice reversal. or how the WWE Universe perceives it. Corbin is a wrecking machine who will make sure anyone who stands in his way will feel the wrath of the Lone Wolf. People have been wanting to see these guys go at it for a long time, and by the sound of this crowd, STL, a pride! That's what he was looking for, Michael. Byron, you made a great point earlier about Baron Corbin, and well, he's all about Baron Corbin. Remember, this is a man who was... Oh, and he breaks free! But the damage might have already been done, Michael. Oh, boy, he is rolling. John Cena is measuring. Ooh, John Cena may have it. You gotta believe this one's over! 
Is that enough for the win? What is keeping this competitor going? You need more to keep a man Corbin size down. I agree. Looking for the win. Ooh, this might be the end of Corbin. What a move. Oh boy, he is rolling. Seen dished out so far here tonight. Close line! Oh, he goes down hard. Yeah, he's definitely starting to fade now. And look at the quickness by Cena.
are we looking at yet another? He goes for the cover. deserves another look, folks. Check this out. Here is your winner, John Cena! It's all over. And John... When we return, it's a battle where the participants will need to know where they are at all times. We have Team Kevin Owens versus Team Braun Strowman. And here he is, the former NXT and WWE Intercontinental Champion, Kevin Owens. Let's see what he's got. When I think of tag teams that can make a major impact on today's WWE, I absolutely think of these two teams. Look at the presumptuous attitude of Kevin Owens. It's called confidence, Saxton, and all the elite oh, superstars man. have it. You have to walk in believing you're going to beat up your opponent. Just wearing down the opponent. Kevin Owens. Oh. Looking to lock it in here. He fights his way free, but how much energy did he exhaust fighting his way out? who does half the work and still gets promoted. He's the bully at school that nobody likes who still gets the gold song. Everybody's got a Kevin Owens in their life. It's just unfortunate for the WWE Universe that the Kevin Owens in their lives is Kevin Owens. Unfortunately, Byron, life's not fair and it's not Kevin Owens' fault you never deserved a gold star. Oof. Pick up on your analogy about Kevin Owens, Byron. The WWE has had to endure so many tangents from Owens and countless disruptions to WWE programming because Owens finds the need to act like a petulant child. You gotta give me grief whenever I do some name calling and now here you are throwing mud all over Kevin Owens. I wish we were in Marieville, Quebec right now because they know KO is a national treasure. Oh, oh man! Caught with the elbow! Yeah, it's hard to look at Sami Zayn now and think of him as an inspiring figure, but that's exactly who he was in his time at NXT. In fact, he was widely regarded as the heart and soul of NXT. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. Michael went back to a time when Sami Zayn was synonymous with NXT. His attitude back then was a far cry from where it is today. Now I wonder if everything we saw from Sami and NXT was just a ruse. No, oh, why are you guys trying to rewrite the success Sami had at NXT? Just because you and everyone else turned their backs on him shouldn't discredit everything he's accomplished. an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. Turning it around, it's Sami Zayn with the reversal. I don't think anyone thought 
Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. This might be it! Oh my! Roman Reigns just too fast for him. Kevin Owens just too fast for him. Surprisingly quick. Somebody's got hops. He's got him on his heels and shows no signs of letting up. Now it's Roman Reigns on his heels. And you have to assume his partner is just itching to get in there right about now. It looks to me like he's really trying to carry this team on his back, which really isn't necessary considering he has a very capable partner he can tag in here. Well, you have to expect to take some punishment here, right? I mean, it'd be crazy for him to think he was going to walk away from this match completely unscathed. Full impact! No, he reverses it. Cutting it close here, guys. What a coward. He's trying to get himself counted out, Cole. Harsh impact. Sami Zayn not in a very good spot right here. And at this point, you have to wonder if he can recover from this. He's not looking good. And at this point, he has no option but to make it to his corner and get his partner in there. At this point, they both look to be about evenly matched. Maybe I'll give him an edge, but not by much. been a lot of talk about this superstar's latest spot in the power rankings, but if you ask me, those things are overblown. Eight. Nine. Another great tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. Roman Reigns just too fast for him. I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. Nailed it. Got the shoulders down. And Roman Reigns gets out quickly. Not yet. Looks like we're going to get the... And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Come oh, on, the old head scissor. What could Braun Strowman do here to up the odds for success? He's always up for a challenge, and tonight is no different. In a back-and-forth match like this, he has to do... Wow, I thought he was a guard. When this guy's on, look out. Down he goes. That'll do it every time. What is keeping this competitor going? Yeah, but he's hurt, guys. What a stomp! Good grief! There it is! It's locked in! Smart maneuver! And Sami Zayn reverses it! So agile! In off the tag is Kevin Owens. There goes KO with the mind games. Stump on a leg snap. Well, that's going to hurt here your hamstring. Float over. Oh. 
when you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolo Brothers, Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bockwinkel, the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. When you're part of a tag team, the two partners have to travel together, train together, eat together, and be completely in sync with one another. dates back all the way to the he's not going to go quietly no superstar worth his salt ever does Strowman is taking no prisoners right here oh, oh, that's, that's, that's gonna hurt oh my lord gotta look out for that right hook Look at Braun Strowman stalking him. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Harsh impact. Whoa, Strowman dodged that one. Ooh. A minor miracle might be needed to overcome this beating. On the back of the neck, what's coming here? The face plant. But I don't know how much gas he has left, guys. Come on. Here's the cover. One, two, three. What an incredible tag team contest. And here's another quick look at those superstars in action in that tag team battle. Here are your winners, Ron Strowman and Roman Reigns. And they pick up the win. Thanks a lot. Hold on to your seats. We have singles action. Coming up next, we have Finn Balor. Going to settle the score. Two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Brock Lesnar still enters every match as the odds-on favorite. Yeah, I would never predict a Lesnar loss, Saxton, because you can enter Suplex City, but you will never come out the same. Oh, oh man! What a stomp! Good grief! technique this might be it oh my a barrage of strikes endless Some punishment. He's going to need to find a way to fire back. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected, especially considering who he's in the oh, ring. Man. He seemed more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him. Knocked him right off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. Brock Lesnar with a nice reversal. Wait a minute. Guys, it's easy to say NXT is a pillar of WWE nowadays, but it would be difficult to imagine where it would be without the influence of Finn Balor. 
He was the face of NXT. NXT exploded into a phenomenon during Finn's reign as NXT champion. Finn Balor quickly getting the shoulder up. Too early in the match to end it. Touching on Michael's point about Finn Balor's time in NXT, Finn's time wasn't only beneficial to NXT, the two years Balor spent at NXT made him the man he is today and the performer he is in the ring. Balor is the longest reigning NXT champion there's ever been. He was champion for 292 days. That means being in the main event of every show, his shoulders are down. There's the kick out by Brock Lesnar. Yeah, he's not done yet. Brock Lesnar just too fast for him. Lightning speed from the beast. Now the elbow, nasty impact. Oh boy, he is rolling. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. It's like he tapped into some unseen energy source. And there's the reversal from Finn Balor. Through the turnbuckle. He's in control now. Wow, Finn Balor is being controlled. He's going for the pin. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. Balor shooting out of that pinfall like a bullet. Oh, here we go. Brock's down. Brock Lesnar's down and appears to be in bad shape here. Hits him with a gut wrench suplex. What impact! And Finn Balor is really taking a pounding. I don't know how much more Finn Balor has left. And I wouldn't be surprised if he had nothing left at this point. I'm not sure he has much left. Finn Balor fought and injured. That should do it right there! And a speedy kick out by Brock Lesnar. <laughs> yeah, try again. There is no way that is going to topple the beast in part. I got to agree with you, Corey, on that one. Oh, I don't know neck. Man. Slam with authority. He might have it. He's too high. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Finn Balor really needs to dig down deep and fast. Or get a shovel and call it a day. And he's able to get out. Wow, if you want to beat this Irishman, you're going to have to come up with more than that. Finn Balor never ceases to amaze me. Brock Lesnar is just getting overwhelmed. Finn Balor perched on top. Here it comes. Coup de grace. And there it is, boys. That should do it right there. Two. And a kick out. The Beast won't stay down. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. This is where Finn Balor's at home. Kudin Ross. To think, I almost wrote. He's got the shoulders down. Two. And he got a near fall out of it. Wow, if you want to beat Brock Lesnar, you've got to finish him because he's never going to say die. to me like these superstars are running on fumes right about now. Balor looking to end it! 19-16! Finn Balor never
never ceases to amaze me. And the cover for the win! Three! And Finn Balor is your winner. No doubt it was a good one. Here's another look. He's getting after it here. Here is your winner, Finn Balor! What a grueling match. It looked like anybody's match there toward the end. And talk about displaying a never-say-die attitude. It was as if winning was the only option here tonight. Yeah, you can bet they're going to be caught.